Hello, the year four. Um, we're going to talk through Wednesday's lessons now. So we're carrying on with column subtraction, and you're going to be looking at subtractions with regrouping in more than one column. Now, so similar setup to yesterday. Obviously, the larger number on top, the smaller number underneath, and then subtracting. So you start at the ones. So I've got eight take ones take away nine ones, which I can't do. So then I'm going to have to take one of the tens away from there. So that becomes three tens, and that one ten comes into the ones to make eighteen. So eighteen take away nine is nine. Then I've got three tens take away one ten is two tens. Then I've got four hundreds take away nine hundreds, which I can't do. So I'm going to have to take from the thousand. So that becomes seven thousand, and that one thousand goes into the hundreds. So I've got fourteen hundreds take away nine hundreds, which is five hundred left. And then 7,000 take away 3,000 is 4,000, so that gives me an answer of 4,529. On the home learning grid, there is a link uh, to a lesson if you want to watch that if you need to, it's up to you. And then there is a worksheet embedded into the home learning grid for you to complete. And then on to English, Ms. Byron. So in English today, I'd like you to find your own information text about Wales. So I've attached the planning document to the home learning grid for you to work through and as you do so you'll need to consider the following. So what will your main title be for your information text? What subheadings will you use? What information will you include under each subheading? Will you include any technical words? And what other features will you need to include? So for example a content screen. Remember that you've already done the hard work, so don't forget to click back through all of your work so far to help you. Today is about bringing all of that information together and putting it into one document. Okay, now on to the afternoon, and it's a little bit of a computing type lesson. So um, on the Tuesday, uh, it was Internet Safety Day, and so in school we've been looking at Internet Safety. Um, so you're going to do some of that at home, so I'm going to attach some links to the home learning grid you to have a little look at and then you're going to create a poster um, all about staying safe online. Okay, and we'll speak to you again soon in 4th